Good evening all, welcome to another exciting edition of sports. I'm Romico Knowles. Topping sports this evening, students from Grand Bahama Academy took to the sports complex for their annual sports day. Jay Philippe was in the leads with the winners. One of the surprising athletes at Grand Bahama Academy's sports day was Livingston Duncan, an athlete who normally participates in swimming, but he definitely outdid himself in the 400 meters as he became the champion and won that event in the blistering time. It was good because normally I used to be slow and then I started training in the morning with my uncle then I started speeding up and getting faster. I'm just fast I'm, I'm a swimmer I just is, I swim in triathlons, national nationals and I represent the Bahamas every year. The 400 meter junior girls was won by Kalia Pads who had a demanding lead from start to finish she came out as the winner after an impressive start and Kalia is your 2019 junior girls champion in the 400 meters. I was so happy. I pray. At first I was a little bit nervous, but then as I gone through, I felt happy. I was pretty confident. I thought I had a chance. I tell myself that titles aren't important. If they're in senior or they're like in like a grade higher than me, they're not important. I could still have a fair chance. The senior boys 400 meter had a different script. It was a tightly contested race, but ultimately it came down to two guys pushing at the finish line. Lorenzo Burnside, who came out as a winner by just an inch of a margin. He is your champion. Going into the race, I prepared myself like every morning going, running laps and laps and laps around my neighborhood. So long distance race, races is kind of my thing. 100, I mean 800, 400, and also short distance races. So I prepared myself, breathing habits, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Hard to keep, hard to keep up your speed. And I came up with successful. Island sports are just about one month away and physical education teacher Stefan Forbes says he was pretty excited and pleased with what he saw with the athletes at Sports Day. My take on this is that, you know, some of the younger athletes, they were able to push more than the upper high school kids. And, you know, we been doing this all year long. We've been practicing from last year during PE classes and you know it's just about preparing them for the bigger event which is island sports you know and so far my younger kids they pressed me very well as well as my juniors that goes in the category of the junior girls as well as the boys as well as my senior boys who have been impressive as well I'm Jay Philippe ZNS Total Sports in primary school softball, Gombe Land partnering with Playtime Sports to donate nine dozen softballs to the Grand Bahama Primary School Sports Association. General Managers Janet Butler and Ghassan Hadid say it is their hopes that the donation will assist the association in the current season. Switching over to the basketball scores from Abaco in the junior boys play, Agape got over Forest Heights Academy 28-25. Uriel Delancey led it nine points for Agape. James Delia chipped in with seven. Donato McDonald put up 12 points for Forest Heights in the loss. In the Senior boys play Patrick J. Bethel top St. Francis 69-49. Sinal Bien Ami netted 16 points for Patrick J. Bethel. McAllen DeCosta chipped in with 11. Marlon Sims put up 17 points for St. Francis in the loss. That's a look at sports. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Ramiko Knowles. Until next time, make it a great one.